But that doesn't mean we're done today. Or at least, if you're watching this now, we're on the next day. Probably we're going to have one little intermission episode before the ending here. Or we're just going to go around and do some side shit for like an hour because I got time. And why not? So what am I going to do? Am I going to just work on the quests I already have in my list? I kind of feel like I should. Just do the ones I have. <sighs> Where the hell are Quardens? I would love to do this one. I would love it. I would love to do this one. I'm about to look up where a fucking Quarden is. I'm not even kidding. They gotta be somewhere in this game. Where? Where, oh where, are the Quardens at, bitch? Oh where, oh where could they be? Okay. Go to, go to Pentalus region. Apparently they're here. Near the Titan Rock camp? This one? Wait, they're near here? Did I just walk by Quardens and never fucking acknowledge that they existed? Where in the fuck? I mean, I imagine Quardens are just Ardens and Armus, but they're just a different color or whatever. I'm about to just grind these fuckers out and get a bunch of shit because I have a bunch of fucking goddamn gems I need to do from them too. Like, I probably have at least six or seven gems that require Quarmu quor milk or Quarden meat or whatever. Wait. What? Those are Quarmus? Are you serious? Y'all are Quarmus, huh? Y'all are Quarmus. That is not what I was expecting. Motherfuck. I just happened to look over and see the yellow exclamation point and then went, oh fuck, these are Quarmus? These are fucking Quarmus. I'm kind of salty about it. So they're fucking sea cows. Well, that's the item I needed to get for fucking the, the, this quest. That's good, at least. I'm also going to grind out on these fools for a little bit also. I'm assuming there's Quarduns here also, not just Quarmus. Because these are just Quarmus, but I need Quarduns as well. There's a Quardun. I'm going to kill you too. I need your goods, bro. You may not have what I need for this quest, but you have something I need inside of you. And it will be mine. Oh, yes. It will be mine. I got to keep an eye on Uni's CP also. She might max out her class here pretty soon. But yeah, I'd like to finish up the quests that are actually in my list. I don't know if I'm going to go do the teaching ones back in Colony Gamma, though. I think I should. It's just going to be a bunch of reading, but whatever. All right, so that quest is going to be completable now. Dope. But I need to kill more Quardens because I need more of their goods. I don't know if I've been getting Quarmu milk. I wasn't paying attention to any of the drops I've been getting, like, at all. Quarden shell... Three star and two star. Both things I need, I'm sure. Quarmu. I need to pay attention to the actual items I'm picking up. And the best thing to do is just go check at the dang camp and see what I need. I got some rich Quarmu sea milk or whatever. Piran hacks. I think I've seen one more over here somewhere. There's one more quart done here. Let's get him. Where are you going, bitch? The answer is no ways. Anyway, if I need to grind out more of these guys, I can always teleport back to the campsite, and I think all the enemies will reset. So I'll probably just do that anyways. Fucking prawn hacks. Who invited you? I'll just teleport back to the, the campsite to respawn things, but what I'm going to do is I'll check my... Uh, my list real quick of of gems and see what I can do if I did anything I have need what if I got anything I need for some gems Jesus all right Quarmu milk done awesome bitchin I don't have any auxilia cylinders I don't know where the fuck you get those probably a drop from a mech and this one we need a quartan shell done fuck yeah Quad wing. Blah, blah, blah. 
quarmu meat. Marbled quarmu meat. Okay, so I need some quarmu meat level two. So I need a yellow one. And that'll be all. So let me go kill a couple quarmus until I get a yellow meat. And then we'll be done with what I can do with these quarmus, goddammit. God, I've been looking up for these fuckers the whole game, not knowing they're goddamn sea cows and not just regular ass palette swaps of the regular armu. Man, I'm, I'm kind of salty that I didn't figure that out sooner. Wait, did these fuckers not respawn? I thought they respawned when you reset. Ah, oh, what? Whatever. I don't care that much, do I? Not really. Now I know where they are. I don't mind doing it on my own. <sighs> oh, man, we have things we can do here, too. You know what? This could be interesting. Let's do this real quick while we're here. I am going to finish the Riku and Manana hero quest. That is going to happen. But I'm going to come over here first. Here's where I found some oddles, by the way. If you need any oddle stuff, this is a good place to fight some easy ones. If you don't want to go look for them on the Erythia Sea. But while I was over here exploring around, this is where one of the little secret Nopon caves is with the puzzles. I forgot what these puzzles are required, like what's required to get through them, but I want to do another one of these. Oh, the little spinny thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. We have to like spin it around to make it fit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, got it. Done. Easy. Your puzzle doesn't scare me, bitch. I'm assuming the enemies in here are going to be like level 30. Oh, wow. It's unique. Um, you know what? Just for the sake of doing something different, I'm going to switch to the soul hacker. Because these guys are weak sauce anyways. Let's learn some abilities off of something unique. Some easy unique. Because we're here, and why not? Because I thought about it, and let's just do it. Also, I just realized we're only using one healer right now, which isn't a big deal for this area, but I should be careful. I kind of forgot we have Riku and Manana as our hero. We need to go finish this hero quest for them so we can move on from it. But for now, let's myrtleize this motherfucking dude. He ain't shit. Fuck this dude. Is that all that's here? It's just a unique guy? There's nowhere to go from here. Interesting. I don't know if finding all these secret things out in the world even unlocks anything at all, but it's whatever, I suppose. It unlocked a unique, which is one of the abilities you can learn, so that's a thing. Level 35 one. We are more than capable. Why did I do the chain attack? I don't I don't even want Oh my god, I don't even want to do a chain attack, dude. I really don't. Can we just end it? I don't even want to do it. I did it off reflex, but I definitely don't even want to cuz this dude's like he's almost dead already. I don't want to waste the fucking extra couple minutes doing that. What a waste. Waste of my time and yours. I probably would have got a, some bonus experience out of it, but I don't need that right now. I'm going to be fine. There's a pretty good chance I'm going to get at least a, a level up or two before I end off this sesh. Depending on how much I need for a level up. But right now, everyone's experience is over halfway full. So that means I'm already halfway to the next level up. And I don't know how much bonus experience I already have waiting in the wings. Anyway, we hacked his soul and we got a new ability. There you go. Oh, there's ether channels in here. And there's a treasure chest. I couldn't see any of that shit because I was fighting, but hell yeah. Taking all your stuff. I guess I've been doing a lot of gem crafting. I was about to say, where'd all my ether cylinders go? I know I revived two hulks in the last session. But Jesus. Anyway, give me all the things. How many more gold coins do I have to max out? Because if, if so, I'll probably use some more of that on a gem too. I'm at 92 again. We should use that on a gem. So we don't accidentally overfill on golds. Utilize them properly. I just want this uh, treasure. I just want this treasure. Thank you. Odd ring-like shard. Dope. Okay, so we did this little puzzle and unique fight. And uh, Uni did not get rank 10. She's like, sliver of her fucking shit. That's garbage. Whatever. Okay. 
Where do I need to go? I think I need to go back to the the this one. He's I think he's out in the middle of the water, right? Yeah, he's over here. Can I just teleport to his fucking house? No. Wow. I have no no landmark over there, huh? I have to go there from here, huh? Well, that's a sad story, bro. I should look around in this area for a landmark. There probably is one in this area with all the big dinos and shit in it. Which shouldn't scare me anymore. I'm pretty sure they were around level 70, and now I'm well past level 70. But it is whatever. Huh. Also, there's a side quest marker here. Bruh, I have to see what it is. That was not there before. Not on this map. Look. I should do that too and just go to every map and look for side quest markers. Because now we're at the point of no return. There might be new quests around the whole world. There's only one in this area. Surprisingly, if there's going to be any. I guess this area I would imagine having more than one. But this one's only got one. I ain't mad at it. Wee Sploosh. I'm just going to let those guys have their fun. Bye. I have no pun I must visit. Bye. Yeah, basically all level 70 plus enemies here. I will gladly... Pay them no mind. Leave them be. I have killed this big monkey before. Thanks to his inability to get the fuck out of my way when I was trying to follow the no-pawn dude. Some fucking caterpiles. Caterpiles of shit. What? I don't want to fight you. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Okay, thank you. Thank you for going away. I want this treasure. Apparently didn't turn my head to see that last time, but now we did. All right, Tim Papa. Let's finish your quest, boy. Got all the things you ex that you asked for. What's the purpose of use? Cooking on my nana. The problem is that it lacked tools, technique, and soul. Now even more things missing. To get best out of ingredients, must use condiments. Condiments? And to get best from technique, needs special something. Can teach special something? That question? Wait here for Tim. Just how long this going to take? Maybe he steal away goods and scarper with. Who steal away and scarper with? I am standing up on with spotless reputation. Manana thought Tim Papa disappeared for good. When old like me, you understand value of nap. Stay up all night is out of question. So Tim Papa just went away for taking nap? That right. Nap will reveal <laughs> wisdom to Tim Papa. Oh? Uh -huh. What's this? It's a pot. But Manana have one of those too. Oh, I think not. Not pot like this. It's sad to say, but pot of Manana cannot make up for lacking things. It's heavy duty exclusive Nopon brand pot. User choose tool of trade it true, but also fact that tool choose user. Part of banana shape become all warped from use in battle. Now it not quite perfect fit. Mama, that was problem. What is exact point of wielding cooking pot as weapon? That fly overhead of Tem Papa, but that not all. How Manana is so careless with utensil, even when show such great promise as Shadipon. It's true! This pot suit Manana down to ground! The more Manana cook with, the better Manana cook. Then even if used in battle, it not war. Uh, you skip Manana cooking pot! Cooking of banana, not actually so bad. But tools simply not able to keep up with level of skill. That make cooking sad, and utensils sad too. 
Ah, so that's why her technique and tools aren't up to scratch. That right is all a question of feeling. Love is very important thing for technique and cooking. Um, what about teaching us some actual cooking? What talking about now? Tempapa not especially so much a cook. Word on Creepvine was Tempapa legendary chef upon. Tempapa just make new cooking utensil, nothing more. Cooking of beans, they just to make sure utensil work. Meh meh. Then that mean Tempapa not actually legendary chef upon? Oh, I'm well aware that some knop on call Tempapa there. Tempapa choose not to refute spreading rumors. <laughs> choose to lean in. But am not Sheffy, no. Please tell me I misheard. If nice feeling to be complimented. Can't believe this. That ego though. and slow that surefire secret to make cooking of banana really shine banana ready all of technique and soul also spirit and personality getting a bit much oh, oh, oh. and pinch of motivation pinch of motivation motherfucker Are we going to get a new recipe out of this besides the fact that we're doing, you know, hero quests? <laughs> Tasty. Mm. It's so different from before. Mm. I could eat piles and piles of this. Yeah. How does spark and one pot change so much about a dish? Warp of pot is warp of heart and warp of heart is warp of cooking. What? Though it also what? Be true that beloved tool will create beloved food. But you still consider it unthinkable to wield as a weapon. Truth be told, that part still rubbed Tempapa wrong way. But from initial impression of cooking, could tell Manana made with talent without understanding of how to use tool. That was thing that really needed correction. Is Tempapa eating well? Tempapa only eat little. Cannot gorge self like young buck. Nanana is making more! No fear! Do Riku also have difficulty getting along with humans like Tempapa? There are many things one can only attain by cooperation and speak with others. If not travel with Noah and others, then not have chance to eat cooking of Manana now. Indeed. Riku very strange, Noppa. Uh, or maybe the strange one is you, living out here like this. Hmm. This not on way of living. Come, come. Everyone eat up nicely now. Riku will have some. Not forget to treat tools with care. That only thing friends must remember. Manana promise. Manana promise. Her weapon grew stronger. Dope. And we got a questo completo. Bitchin'. And of course, Yum Smith can now go to level 20. Oh yeah. Fucking hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. So cool. Another motherfucking hero can go to level 20. That's only like our second one. We've only done Grey and Riku and Manana now. But that's mostly because we've only found classes for only two. Well, actually, or uh, quests for only two. But we did find Gondors, so technically we have found a third one. But let's go back over here to the dock, I guess. There's a new quest. Let's see what this quest is about. I'm quite curious to see. What does Samon need? Hello? What you need, Samon? There's something that Samon been turning over in mind. Friends still have piece of origin metal, yes? Well, I mean, we gave it all to you. Samon disappoint you here. They're a tiny gleam on radar. Slightest blip of light. Really? 
Huh? I wonder if it's this. Yeah, it sort of looks like origin metal if you squint. Yes, that it. It really origin metal, but it's small, so origin shard better name. Gray find mostly ones of that size. Oh yeah, he was collecting them when we met. I suppose you asked him to collect them for you? Mr. Samon, do you need more origin, origin metal for something? Ship is already perfect. But if Samon have more, the more effective use can be found. If Samon have origin metal, then Samon able to construct thing like Blade of Noah. Not bad. Wait, you can really do that? Samon can do this thing with ultimate hammer. Samon have this idea while tinkering the with engine of bravery. You just randomly came up with that? If friends going to beat up boss of Mobius, then friends want good blade, yes? Of course. Good, then settled. Friends find origin shard to make blades more strong, but that's not all. We also need no pawn who wield this hammer. What do we need no pawn for? Origin metal only able to be worked by ultimate hammer. Let Samon see how many no pawn who know ancient technique for only use with this hammer. Samon think there's six scattered in world. Okay, so first we'll go looking for the no pawn who wield hammers like that. Tell them to meet Samon here at workshop. The odd shards you found were revealed to the, be origin shards. Oh! Like all those odd, weird shaped shard blah blah blahs I've been picking up throughout the game? Those have been origin shards this whole time? The names of the odd shards have changed to origin shards. Bro! I probably already have a fuck ton of them. And uniting the seven no pawn. Okay. I kind of want to do this quest. Search for the no pawn that hold an ultimate hammer. Are they all on the map? Because that'd be super if they were. Is there one in this area? There totally is. All right. He's over. Wait. No, that's not him. Wait. What quest is this? I mean, I know the quest, but what, uh, what do I need to do for this one? I don't remember. He wanted me to do something. I mean, I feel like I should do the ones on my list. I might do this real quick while I'm here, since it's here. Let me go to my map real quick, or my quest list real quick. It's this quest where I gotta work with that dude at Colony 4. Oh, he wanted me to fight the Mechapod Carthigia or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that real quick. Fuck it. It's here. I don't mind. Let's go do it. I'll go fuck up a Carpegia real quick. Don't mind if I dizzle. It'll probably get Uni to level 10 on her freaking class, and then I can be done with that, too. Get this done real quick. He'll probably have a freaking part 3 with my luck, but let's just get this done. Sliding on down, dig it down, dig it down. Ready to beat this fucker up right now. Hello, friendos. Is that the Mechapod Carthagia that Emir mentioned? It appears to be accompanied by Agnian troops. Let's get the parts we need and move out before they call reinforcements. Got it. Let's nab those parts and leg it back to Ymir. You got it, dude. Give me my stuff. Give it. Level 50, it should be quick. Focus on the healer first. Healer first. Are they all healers? I think they're all healers. That's kind of annoying. Whatever. One at a time. Take them down. They are definitely all healers. Weirdly. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we'll just focus on the quest I have on my list. Which is just this one. Now the ultimate no pawn hammer one, which I'm actually quite interested in, honestly. I'm probably not even going to go turn this quest in right now. I'm just doing the objective for it right now because we're here, you know? I'm in no rush to go back to Colony 4. Unless that's where one of the no pawn I'm looking for is. I hope they're all marked on the map. I really don't want to have to go around and talk to every no pawn like, you know how to hammer? Do you know how to hammer? Do you know how to hammer? Nobody knows how to hammer, brah.
All right, let's chain attack this fool. A uh, chain attack might just take him out entirely, so let's just do it. Let the Noogie Storm roll. Speaking of Noogie Storm, I should swap out my hero, but it's fine right now. Yeah. And then we'll have him go. Oh, fuck. He's not... Well, it's fine. He's not uh, the Full Metal Jaguar anymore, which in my head he was until I clicked it. And I was like, oh, wait. He didn't have the moves. He didn't have the moves like Jagger, unfortunately. No Jagger moves for you, boy. Alright, let's do Mio. Unless we get the full on chain, he might not die. But we'll see. Side break. He's already broken. I should have done a topple move. Alright. Topple? Do you have topple? He does not have topple. Who has topple? You have topple? You have topple. Do it. Do it. Do your topple. Do your worst. Mr. Toppleman. Come, Mr. Toppleman, knock over banana. Daylight come and me want to go home. Um. Do I go for it now? Nah, no, no, no. We, we need to get two, two people to go, so no. It's fine. Um. Does anyone else have a daze move? Just her? That's fine. Now he's dazed. And the combo goes on. Just like my love everlasting. And the combo's on. Still moving strong and I love it. And the combo's on. Ooh, ooh. Still moving strong and I love it. Ooh, and the combo's on. Get a first blood and a strike, bro. And the blood goes on. Just like my love everlasting. Hey, horrible resorter. Here it comes everlasting. And I just fucking won. Ooh. Gonna get the horrible resorter. Hold or. Hold or. or, 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 or. Hold the door! Hodor! Why am I Hodoring? I don't know. I'm being annoying now. I'm just being annoying. Fucker's already dead, though. He's done, son! You done fucked up! You done fucked up, sir! You done fucked with the wrong fellas! That would be me and mine! Felt like we've been doing a bunch of Mio finishers. We finally got Noah again. We're getting that death of a thousand cuts so much. I forgot what Livin's and Bound don't look like almost. Anyway, that fucker's dead. Give me your parts. Alright. I imagine we got what we needed. We gotta just talk to Amir now. Okay, that's fine. Alright, map. Nope. Quests. Quests. Ethel quest? Level. F oh, that's a 57. I'm tripping. It says 57 here. All right. Well, we're doing this one. Damn no pawns, man. Damn, damn no pawns, man. I hope they're marked. I really, really do. So there's none in the Cadencia region. Kevis Castle area? None here. Pentalus region? None here. Fornication region? So they're not marked? Do I have to just ask every no pawn? Because that makes me sad. I don't want to do this quest if I have to ask every no pawn. Bruh. I don't want to do that. 
Like, I I love the idea of there being this fucking quest here, but, man, I really got to go around and talk to every Nopon. Like, does that mean go back to every Ferranus fucking Hulk and just be like, yo, are you the Nopon that wields a hammer? Or every camp, every... Well, luckily every colony doesn't really have a Nopon. It's mostly camps and the Hulks. So we'll just check all those, I guess. You, do you know Hammer? Uh, search for no pawn that hold an ultimate hammer. But like where? I don't understand where to look for a no pawn with an ultimate hammer. Like where? Where? I feel like this is going to bother me, and then next session of this game, I'm going to want to do this first. Because I don't feel like I'm going to figure this out right now without looking it up. And I don't want to do that right now when we're almost done for today's sesh. I want to just do stuff that's lingering. But this one's not really lingering. I just picked it up, so... I don't know what I'm doing here, really. I should be checking camps and fucking... That, that stuff. So, like, the next Ferranus Hulk in this area is here. Let's check here. Maybe Shill Shill knows. Maybe he can help us. I doubt it, but maybe. Thing is, it's like. It says I have to find six no pawns. It's not even like one, it's six. So that's why I'm so confused. Can you actually use that at help to me, hammer? Of course. Pain pain just used for crush mid afternoon armored chestnut snack. I've heard it's a pretty important hammer. Are you allowed to use it for snack purposes? It's better than let hammer get rusty crusty. Pain pain considered taking disciple to teach hammer skill to, but everyone only interested in trade. How would you feel about a chance to gain any problem? Okay. Pain Pain retired from that sweaty work a long time ago. Didn't we help you out when you were on your last legs? Meh 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 meh. Pain Pain got no choice, but Pain Pain not come cheap. We'll work something out. Pain Pain accept. Is workshop ready? Here are the coordinates. We'll catch up with you later. Pain Pain prepare cost estimate for friends. Okay, so I found one of them. Dope. Okay, so I just have to find a no pawn that has a big ass hammer on his back. That's what I have to do. I'm sad that they're not marked. That would just make this so much easier. I'm going to go back here then. And I'm going to double check that there wasn't another Nopon here that had a hammer on his back. I'm just going to check all the uh, the Hulks first. If one doesn't have a hammer on his back, then we move on, I suppose. I'll check all the camps too. Screw it. All the camps had Nopons at them too. I better check them all. Alright, this one was a Cooley Pool camp. Let's go here real quick. Looking for no pawns. All right, no no pawn here. Uh, forward post camp. Looking for no pawns. This one definitely had a no pawn at it before. And for all I know, we do this check. We do all these checks, and we'll find one. We'll find something else besides just what we're looking for. Okay, any more camps in this area? This is a camp. Guru Flava. No, no pawn here. Uh, I think that's all for this region in terms of camps. So let's go upper. Make sure there's nothing up here real quick. There's this camp, but I don't remember there being any Nopons there. There's no Ferranus Hulks here. Actually, there might be one at Colony Omega. Let's check here. No. And this map doesn't have any new quests on it either, so that's good at least. There's another camp over here. The Sang Camp? Sung Camp? I never even remember finding this one. 
There is a no pun here. I'm assuming, like I said, if there's not one, a dude with a hammer on his back, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so maybe nothing else in the Asia region for now. And let's check the Fornis region. The Fornication region. Okay, from the entrance, in terms of camps, there's a camp here. I don't remember there being any no ponds at this camp, though. Pretty sure this is just a little side camp. I might stop by Colony 4 since I'm in the area now and turn in this other quest. Talk to Emir. Alright, no no pawns here. I should just be checking for Honest Hulks more than anything, honestly. Anyway, let's head to Colony 4 real quick since it's, on, it's in my brain to do so. I didn't see any question marks on the map in this area either. At least I didn't notice them. I'll check again as soon as we teleport in here. Yeah. No new question marks on this map either. But there is this. Did you see that? That massive sea vortex just up and vanished. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. But you saw the massive thing that came out of it, right? Way bigger than any Faranus I've ever seen. What? Crossing the vortex? I guess that's just info about the mission where we did to go to the fucking thing. Anyway, no worry about it right now. We're so close to maxing out this damn colony. I feel like doing this quest is going to max out this colony. I would love to see what happens when you finish the colony maximization. Besides, you know, getting all the skills. Like the, the world traversal skill type stuff. Here, the part from the leftness you pointed us to. Is it what you needed? Oh my, this is stupendous. I can't see a single scratch on it. It's like it's brand new. Do you think that will solve your problem? Yes, all I have to do is put my theory into practice. Let me quickly combine the components and attach them to the Levinus. It didn't work. Go do another quest for me. <laughs> we'll see. Be lucky if this is only a two-parter. Whoa, it moved. Does that mean it worked? Yes, no doubt about it. This is the best result we could have wished for. Let me compose myself. To be honest, I was half doubting my theory before, but I can't doubt what I just saw. Everyone, listen. I've been relying too much on established concepts. There's been a terrible oversight on my part. What oversight? Before, I'd guessed that the technology was essentially located in the Agni and Levinus' levitational mechanism. But when I opened it up, what did I find, you may ask? That's... it's actually super efficient. It's energy conduction. Energy conduction? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I read about the underlying theory in a report about Levinus' once. The process for converting the energy from an ether cylinder always results in a loss of energy. I think it said that. That's exactly right. However, Agni and Lemus in particular have barely any loss of energy during that process. Sorry, Amir. Can you simplify that a bit more for us amateurs? Uh, roughly speaking, it means that it can operate at full power without wasting as much energy as before. Hmm, I see. But uh, is that really such a big deal? Of course it is. For instance, our Faranus has been out of order until now. Without a flame clock, ether cylinders don't outfit sufficient energy, making it utterly impossible to operate our Faranus. However, with this technology, we can create a power system to rival the flame clock by our own means. And with that system, we can get the Faranus up and running once more. Whoa, are you serious? Deadly! Well, theoretically, of course, depending on time, resources, and available manpower, too. In other words, it's going to take a while. I am so grateful to you all. Thank you f thanks to you, my results far exceed my expectations. With this outcome alone, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be the next captain. Captain can allocate endless resources. My research will bring advances the likes of which has never been seen before. You're starting to worry me, matey. Ah, well, whatever. Fill your boots. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it so much. I'll do my very best. If the Ferrana starts working again, the first thing I'll do is help you out. When that time comes, just remember what a bloody genius I was. Yeah, that's cool. Can you, like, make this be done with this quest line, please? Questo completo! Well, he didn't have immediately another question mark on the map, so that's hopefully a good sign that he doesn't have another part. And look at that. The colony is like a sliver away from being done. That's so annoying. How the fudge? Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, what I want to do... Here's what we're going to do. Go by chronological. Colony 4. What can I finish? I wanted to go. I wanted to put it over to the top. I can get extra affinity from doing this, so I want to get it to. I wanted to get it to a uh, like. I want to finish it off. 
And he's like, it's right on the fucking edge, man. I just want to see what happens when we're done with it, man. I don't know how many for fucking affinity I need, though. Just take this. Just take it. Give me some shit, Olashandra. I don't care. I've I've walked around this world enough. Give me all your stuff. I will turn this in until I get like a hundred extra. I don't give a fuck. Hopefully that's enough. Max it out. Ah! Just max it out. It's so close. So annoying. Here, Emir, you take some. Wait, was that one not done? That one actually gave me a, a reward. Weird. I guess some of them still give me a reward for now until they don't. Anyway, I need more Colony 4s. Denzel. Alright, that better be enough. Yay. Wait. There it is. We maxed out a colony, y'all. We did it. Colony 5's done. But the question remains, what happens when you're... Or Colony 4 is done. I said 5. Does something happen when you max it out? Or you just learn the ability and it's maxed out? That's all I wanted to know. Like, I was hoping that maybe, like, a quest would pop up. And that's how you unlock the hero. Level 20 for the hero that's tied to its, to its colony. But it's starting to look more and more likely that that's not the case. I don't know. Unless all of a sudden Ethel's level 20 now. But it would I feel like it would have told me that. It would be like, Ethel unlocked level 20, blah, blah, blah. It wouldn't just be a surprise. I'm just going to go try and talk to the captain guy. Boliaris or whatever the fuck his name is. And then we'll get back to looking for no pawns. <sighs> Boliaris, what's up, Leia? Okay. Nothing. Cool. All right, back to looking for no pawns. I guess we'll worry about that later. I really don't know. We maxed out an affinity, though, so we know what happens. Nothing. Cool. All right. So we're looking for the hulks, which I think this is one over here in the desert. I think there's another one up on the hill on the south side of this area. Shirolo, you have a thing on your back. Shirolo has never seen. Only seven holding the world. Precious presents. Okay. Cool. We asked him. He said he didn't know. I guess we leave it at that. Fuck off, I guess. Alright, well, there's a Frontus Hulk here. I can't believe I even found one of the hammer ones. That makes me even more, like, curious. Red, red. All signs point to no pun coin minute, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what's up, dude? This area revived nasty memory every time. Memory of being stalked by Mask Man drenched in scary black. Fur shiver just recalling. Mask Man in scare. Oh. Of course, it's gray. Duh. Alright, well, I'm not seeing a Nopon here with a hammer, which makes me even more concerned, and I'm never gonna find another one. Where in the fuck are all the Nopon who have these hammers? Part of me is kind of thinking one might be in Colony 30, if only because Colony 30 is full of Nopon. There's a lot of them. So let's check. Huah! I even hear hammering happening. Also, hello. Time for investigate origin. Friends come along. First need build method of conveyance. No one no can get there otherwise. Okay. Curiosity about origin. Wonder how many of these are turn gonna turn into quests. Rapapa, are you hammer time? I don't know how we unlock the final step to that shit either. So many quests. It makes me wonder if there's any quests that only open up if you beat the game. Anyway, I'm looking for no pawn that have hammers on their back. Anybody know of any? There's so many no pawn here, I might as well check them all. <sighs> I 
this is going to be a very unfulfilling, like, last episode before we go to the end. Because I'm not going to be able to figure out this Nopon crap unless I look it up, I feel like. The fact that I found one is still a miracle. I'm just going to say that now. Just got lucky, I guess. One of them being here makes all the sense to me, though. It's a fucking town full of Nopons, man. One of y'all motherfuckers has got to be proficient with a goddamn ultimate hammer. But which one? I don't know. I'm going to get the fuck out of here, though. No luck here. All right. Uh, any more camps that had no pawn at them here? Probably. Lynn no Weeder camp. I think there was a camper outside of Colony 4 that had no pawns at it, too. The one that was like our shady rest spot. All right. Well, Mimu. No luck there. This one right here. This La Lake Rosento. Lake Rosento. A place that only Shady Nopon like to hang out. Still no luck. Not feeling very good about it. Who the fuck do I need to find? Not feeling very good about it. Not sure where to go this time. Seedless Terrace Camp. This is probably the last one I check here, and then I'll go to another map, because I didn't find any fucking no ponds here. Totutu? Bam Bam? Oh, this is Bam Bam and Doran. Sorry. They're just hanging out at random camps now, I guess. Alright. Well, that's cool. Bye! Bye, bitch, bye. To the Pentalus region, I guess. Um, generator control room. Ruins of Cebu camp. I don't think there's going to be any here, unless there's one in a Hulk here. Which, was there a Hulk here? I don't remember there being any Hulks here. Okay, never mind. There's one right here. Right, right, right. I remember this one. It was, like, above the waterfall. There was a Hulk up here. I remember. Y'all remember? Because I remember. Y'all remember that Hulk up there? That shit was fucking crazy, dog. Shit was hulking, sulking, bulking, flexing. But no hammer times. Seriously, bro. Where are all these legendary no ponds? I feel like there's going to be one in the city. That feels like a spot there should be one as well. Colony 30 made sense to me, though. I'm a little sad there wasn't one there. Where in the fuck am I gonna find these no pawn motherfucks? Where the fuck, where the fuck, where the fuck, where the fuck? You legendary useless ass motherfuckers! Colony Tau. Sparkling pool camp. Let's check it. Is there any more, any more hulks here in the game? I wonder if there's, I wonder if I've gotten all the hulks in the whole game. Because one area that I'm not 100% sure there's not one is here. There could be a Faranus Hulk here. Forgotten Trick Gate? Wait. Forgotten Trick Gate? Oh! Bro. This is one of those Nopon Gates. I found this one off screen. This one was buried deep within this cave with all the poison. I remember this now. This one was super deep. The problem with this one, though, is it's probably going to have a lot of difficult shit behind it if it's going to have monsters like the other one did. But let's solve a puzzle first. Uh... Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to spin that one, actually. I forgot what I was doing for a tech. Wait. No. My brain is not powerful right now. There we go. Sorry. It was not that hard. I was making it harder than it needed to be. There is a big... A oh my god, there's a dragon in here. Probably unique. Yeah, a level 105 unique. Yeah. Uh, Cool. Cool find, bro. Cool. Just thought I'd, uh, you know, show that off. Didn't know that was going to happen. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go to Kevis Castle area, I guess, or maybe not. I don't even know what we would check out here. Let's check the Tap Dancing No Pond. There is a city here now, right? I guess we could check the actual Kevis Castle and look around. There's probably more quests here now. Now that, now that Queen uh, Melly is back, she probably has a fucking quest for us. Shit, man. There's probably a question mark on this map. No! No question mark. That surprises me more than anything. Not gonna lie. There's a lot of freaking treasures still here that I didn't pick up. Like dag damn, boy. Like dag damn it, boy. Maybe this place is just more for the novelty and it doesn't actually have a lot of quests at it or anything. It's just here to be like, yo, you you liberated this place. Good job. Moving on. Wait. Are you a legendary hammer, hammer panini? Panina? Nope. We have some new names what about you, Fairod? Just a kid I hadn't really worked with yet. Man, this castle has its own affinity. It's at level one right now. Like, that's ridiculous to me. I don't know why I'm even doing this right now. I shouldn't even be here. Bro, you shouldn't even be here today, bro. Alright, well, I'm going to give up on that. Cadencia region. Oh my god, this is the biggest region ever. Um, A legendary no pun with a hammer. I'm going to check the fucking... I'm going to check the goddamn city. Because now I'm... I just don't know where else to look, man. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to. I don't want to walk around this world and not be able to find the no ponds. For all I know, they're super well hidden, and I just happen to find one of them randomly. You know what other no pond I do want to talk to to check, though, is the old one that did all the puzzles? I want to check him. But first, I'm going to walk around here looking for one. GG, do you use a hammer? It's got to be someone that's got a hammer on his back, right? Who the fuck is Zach? Did I ever talk to Zach before? No idea. Monica's here. Hi, Monica. Mwamba's here. Mwamba! Miori's here. Who's Miori? I don't know, but we, she's here. Riggy! Riggy? I don't know. Riggy, Riggy, doo doo. Tra la la la. Again, I don't see any question marks here either, which probably surprises me more than anything. Yeah, I don't know who, who the who the fuck these no pawns are we need to find, but man, I'll be damned if I'm gonna find them on my own. And I don't even have time to go do the teaching thing in Colony Gamma right now. I'm literally just spending time looking around at this point. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's just give up. Give up. I'll look I'll look into it off screen and maybe next episode we'll do the no pawn thing and then we'll beat the game. Maybe that's how we'll do it. But first things first. We have hella discussion points. We have time. Let's talk about anything that's not quest related. So let's 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 do a conversation about the curiosity about origin, shall we? Anything not quest related. The no pawn of Colony Thirty looked to be really interested in origin, huh? Once you hear that Phronesis are made inside it, it makes sense for their interest to be piqued. You interested in it too, then, Tyon? Riku? It may not be the most prudent, but I do find myself curious, yes. I am burning to know how Mobius used Origin to create Ionios as we see it today. I imagine it must be similar for Riku. Riku have no interest in it whatsoever. What? If we defeat Mobius, then Origin surely have no consequence. So there no point in feeling curious. I see, I see. Riku's got the cold intellect. Makes an envious person. Makes a person envious, eh, Diane? C could you stop making it sound like I'm some kind of weirdo? Riku's always been a cool dude, ever since we first met. Except when it comes to hunting for gemstones, then he gets excited like nobody's business. Noah didn't have to reveal that. We already knew that, though, bro. We've seen it happen. I don't know if this one's going to have a quest attached to it, but let's talk to him with Grey involved. That could be funny. The Nopon Caravan said it was attacked by a mysterious soldier, didn't it? A mysterious soldier? Sounds well spooky. That was me. You? Queen's Bobbles, so our mystery guy was here all along. They saw me. I intended to erase the evidence. Now I think about it, 
when you met met us for the first time, you attacked us too. Uh, obviously. Is it obvious? I'm not sure it is. I'm a shadow. The shadow of my friend and of his daughter. I don't like being seen by others. But, but you didn't end up wiping out the caravan, did you? A little light intimidation was enough to shut him up, so I let it go. If they become a nuisance, I will erase them. Dude, you really need to mellow out. At any rate, the Nopon Caravan means you no harm, so I'm sure it won't come to that. Let's hope. Huh, I just realized you got rumbled by a bunch of Nopon, eh? Wow, you must have been real clumsy out there. Ugh. Whoa, easy there, Ferris. Put away the weapons, we're all friends here. He's a real short-fused boot. It must be a touchy subject. Indeed, very touchy. Crossing that vortex. Do you guys remember when we talked to Ethel about directions in Sword March? Whoosh, that's a blast from the past. Well, she said back that then that anything that comes close to the vortex in the Great Sea gets ripped to shreds, yeah? So now we know why that is, and Origin's the reason. That's right. Back then, I don't think we could have imagined that something so huge was submerged. Right. So anyway, it got me thinking. If we'd had Master Mr. Salmon's levness back then already, we could have just flown right over the vortex. It would have saved so much time. Honestly, I'm just glad we've got the little guy now. Please not to discuss Discount Riku. With enough time, could also have built. Enough time being approximately ten years, give or take five months. Well, that wouldn't have been any bloody help now, would it? <laughs> yeah, really, though. A little late, buddy. A little late. All right, so this is that Nopon one I want to work on, but I don't have more info. I need to find four more Nopon to progress that. This one looks like another conversation one, though. Achievement. First it was Agnes. Now we've managed to destroy Kevis Castle's flame clock, too. Slow and steady progress, in it. Sounds weird coming from me, I know. There's all different sides to power of Ouroboros. That's true enough, and yet there ought to have been many in the past who became Ouroboros and fought Mobius. You mean we only did it because we're us? Yes, and sincerely think so. At first I felt uncertain about it, but now I can state it with confidence. It's thanks to all of us that we made it this far. I'm truly grateful to have had the experience of standing shoulder to shoulder with you all. Is anyone going to say something? Nothing really comes to mind. I didn't expect that kind of speech from him, of all people. I feel a bit embarrassed now. Is my face burning? So awkward. Tyon, I'd like to return your sentiment. You saved my skin many times over, and I don't think I can ever thank you enough. Now, there's a good follow-up. I see, so when you put it so bluntly, it makes one feel a little put on the spot. But Tyon, you're the one who started it, you muppet. Yeah, exactly. You muppet. All right, this is the Gondor hero quest. I might, I might do that one too. We'll see. Anyway, let's read about nicknames from Colony Mew or Moo. Hey, Landland, please don't. But why, Landland? Don't you like your name, Landland? <laughs> you keep that up, and I'll start calling you Yoon Yoon. How about that? Just kill me and be done with it. So me then? I'd be No No maybe. And I'm Sen Sen. Mio Mio. Sounds like a bird call. <laughs> These all don't exactly trip off the tongue, do they? And for Tyon? Ty Ty? On on? Ty on? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Wait, that's just my name. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. <laughs> what a stupid conversation. Oh, I'm glad we read that one. Good times. Let's read about no pond cooking, shall we? Say, Manana, I think we all agree that your cooking's about as delicious and filling, but isn't it a burden for you to always cook? Ah, oh, don't get Noah wrong. It's great. It's just you've got four more mouths to feed than when you were in Agnes. No needing for concerning. Cooking is whole life of Manana. Food from colony canteens is fine and all, but when it comes to feeding friends, Manana wants to do by self. Can adjust menu based on preferences and dietary requirements. Will not get similar service in canteen, that's for sure. Manana's cooking is really what gets us fa to face each day with a renewed vigor. Needless to say, eh? Or so men on a front, but actually wouldn't mind eating in colony canteens from time to time. Can be good to get ideas for recipes by sample what world have to offer, and then rework and have a friend sample. Well, that's fantastic then. Food for our turns and for Mana's thought. Two ansels, one stone. That's exactly right. Manana look forward to never stop expanding repertoire as long as live. Alright, that's just letting you know that if you haven't been learning recipes, that's how you do it. Let's read about the textbook. It's best we talk this through. Oi, Tyon, you've been keeping up with your Agnes textbook reading, right? Isn't that a bit pointless now? I mean, since we're all on the same side and all that? 
Here's the thing. Before we became Ouroboros, I believed implicitly that every word in there was correct and accurate. That if I practiced what I what it taught, all would turn out to benefit my colony and my queen. But now, now I know, as do we all, that it was no more than a Mobius deception. Right, so why waste any more time on it? Because if you think about it, the textbooks contain information advantageous to the Mobius. Mobius, do you see what I'm saying? If I can reverse engineer and analyze this advantageous, inf advantageous information, I can find out about their real goals and intentions. Whoa, so you're reading them to like learn more about our enemy. Information forms the basis of strategy. That's elementary, elementary tactician know-how. But it's also not like everything in there is backwards nonsense either. Consider the case of Colony 9's fields, for instance. So we can't blindly trust what you read. We have to sort of sort through the information and make up our own minds? I'm glad you're so quick on the uptake. Indeed. Alright, any more conversation ones that aren't quests? God, we have so many quest ones. It's ridiculous. Mushroom knowledge? Sure. The people of Tau certainly know their mushrooms. I'm kind of envious. I still can't quite tell apart which ones are edible and which ones aren't. Manana must also brush up on mushroomology. Riku agree in totality. It's not such a long time ago that everybody sleep righteous sleep and get food stolen by Turkins. But Manana already apologized for that, and anyway was simple blunder. Yeah, and besides that, it wasn't just your fault. Manana will not make the same mistake twice. From now, we'll spare no effort in pursuit of deep fungal knowledge. When discover mushrooms, we'll eat every one. Then we'll definitely learn through experience. Um, I'm afraid I'm sleeping... I'm afraid sleeping too soundly will be the least of your problems then. No worries. Stomach of Manana made from a 100% indestructible stainless steel. I don't know how to reassure, I feel. Manana never tire in pursuit of knowledge. We should probably make a point of keeping some tummy soothing herbs on hand. Yeah, I think we'll have to. <laughs> She's gonna eat all the shrooms. All of them. Alright, any more? All quests and all quests. Okay. So all we have left is quest combos. That's fine. We can do those. I figure I'll do the quest combos if I'm actually going to work on quests. Then there's a reason to like kind of recap on what the quests are about. But I think on that note, before actually before we go, let me check my, my level up situation. Can I level up one more time before we're done? Totes. Maybe two more. Ooh. Okay. We're level 79, which is pretty dope. Um, I don't know. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Next time on Xenoblade 3, I'm going to do side quests for a little bit. Mainly, I want to do this Nopon quest to figure out how to level up my weapons. The other one I would like to figure out is where in the heck is Senna's uh, side quest? I might look up where that is and do it. Just so I finish off her little side. Because I'd like to have that in the scope of the playthrough. So what I may do next time. No pun quest. Figure out Senna's hero quest. And then maybe we'll just go for the end of the game. And if I want to do any other side quest extra stuff after that. I will save that for like post game. Maybe even take the time to do the boss fights. You know like the super bosses. Depending on what I feel like doing in the end. But yeah. At the very least I think next session I want to beat this game. So... I'm pushing 90 hours. I would love to be almost done with this game. So yeah, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, y'all. little side quest action, and then after that, we'll wrap this game up. I'm excited. So, see you guys then. Peace!